Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations. In today's video, we're going to be jumping back into some Cookie Run Kingdom, and we've got six cookies that you absolutely need to be building right now in Cookie Run Kingdom. So without further ado, let's check them out. Diving right into the first cookie, and that's going to bring us to Pure Vanilla Cookie, all right? So rightfully so, when we jump in here and take a look at Pure Vanilla, obviously being the only Ancient in the game, he's 100% broken and pretty much the best healer in the game, and I would even argue the best support unit in the game, because not only are you going to be utilizing his instant heals for your entire party, but also you're going to be utilizing that entire shield that goes on every single person in your party as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to utilizing Pure Vanilla, there's actually three different different sets or you know ways that you can strategically add toppings to pure vanilla to get the most out of him so for this full cooldown reduction set to actually pop off and work in your favor or at least to get the most out of this set and that's going to be focusing on damage resistance as your substats all right because damage resistance is directly going to allow pure vanilla to live a lot longer to pop off more healing and to utilize his shields more so again trying to get the damage resistance percentage like somewhere in the realm of 25% is going to be the, you know, best, ideal, perfect, um, you know, way to go when it comes to running the full cooldown reduction set. Now, diving into the second set, we've got for, for Pure Vanilla, and that's going to bring us to kind of like a mix set. We've got three of the cooldown reduction toppings or those swift chocolates, and then we've got two of the solid almonds, aka those damage resistance. Now, this one, in my opinion, is going to probably be more like of a general build, kind of like a mix between PvE and PvP when it comes to utilizing Pure Vanilla, probably probably arguably the better way to go when it comes to PvE in my opinion because you're kind of like getting best of both worlds you're getting some additional damage resistance as you can see it went up from 9% that we had to 15.3% so closer to that overall 25% damage resistance but not only that our cooldown reduction did go down a little bit but overall we're still getting you know a good cooldown reduction and we're still adding a ton of damage resistance to hopefully allow pure vanilla to just overall live a lot longer to produce more healing and to produce basically, you know, that shield that everybody so wants in the arena. Diving right into the third and final set we've got for Pure Vanilla, and that's going to bring us to the Solid Almond set. So this is going to be, you know, strictly built around building the most damage resistance as possible on Pure Vanilla and 100% for those top tier arena matches. That's it. That's going to be the only place, in my opinion, that you should be running a full solid almond set. I know that some people do argue that you can run a full solid almond set and utilize the, you know, sub stats to your advantage for PvE, which although that might be the case let me know down below in the comments but at the end of the day i think this is going to be purely used for the top tier arena matches moving right along to the second cookie we've got on the top six cookies that everybody should be building and that's going to bring us to vampire cookie all right so vampire cookie again very very good solid option really really good between you know pretty much any content in the game i know vampire does kind of fall off when it comes to the high ranks in arena most players are only utilizing vampire in arena right now um because they already have him built and especially if you are a free to play account and you don't have a whole lot of experience jellies at the beginning to invest in you know 5 10 15 you know epic cookies it's it's way easier and way more bang for your buck to just use something that you already have built you know put it into the arena to grind out some ranks before the official reset so with that being said vampire does still make this list because overall outside of the arena he's still very very good in the best single target damage dealer in the game Alrighty, so when it comes to the toppings of choice for vampire cookie 100% you should be invested in full set of searing raspberries hands down because the entire goal of vampire is to just do as much damage when he pops off his ultimate ability as you possibly can now when it comes to the overall sub stats I think you should specifically be focusing on those three main important ones we've got the attack so obviously getting an additional attack on this one for instance would have been really really nice um, the damage resistance one here that we as you can see that we did achieve and that's going to just allow him to stay alive longer and take a little bit more damage and then last but not least that cooldown reduction to allow him to pop off his skill more frequently in any match that you are going through now the third cookie we've got up for you guys today is going to be taking a look at licorice cookie all right so licorice cookie again probably a really big staple in my opinion for any team composition that you are building for any content that you are building whether it's pvp or pve the minions my friend are just really really hard really really hard to replace i mean they do a ton of damage they soak up a ton of damage you could utilize them to you know pretty much tank minions in boss fights just overall 
one of the best cookies in the game, and I would arguably say that it's the best magic cookie in the game, hands down. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look at the best toppings of choice. And as you can see, again, it's going to be a full set of Swift chocolates, no matter what. The thing that you are looking for, though, when it comes to cooldown reduction, is going to be that at least 19%. So, you can see we've got that achieved. We've got 19.5%. Anything above that, you can still technically achieve anything higher, and it's going to just obviously reduce that cooldown reduction even more when you can utilize the skill but overall I think the 19% is going to be like that happy place and then after 19% you kind of want to probably be focusing more on you know the additional attack for your servants or the additional damage resistance to add to that overall survivability but when it comes to licorice cooldown reduction or those swift chocolates a full set is the best way to go now jumping right into the number four that we got on this list and that's going to be the brand new sea fairy cookie all right so keep in mind I keep on saying number four three two and one that's not going to be any any sort of tier order i'm just listing these these out according to my notes but at the end of the day sea fairy cookie has to make the top six cookies 100 that every player should be building in the game i understand that she is really really hard to get but she is very very free to play friendly to get if you are just grinding out the game you can buy her soul stones from the rainbow shop all right so just keep that in mind you should be doing that but anyways obviously for you know various different reasons but obviously the five enemy stun comp is just absolutely ridiculously op and her aoe damage that she does overall is insane so with that being said let's jump in here to the toppings and show you guys what the best set to run on sea fairy is going to be so as you can see here on screen we actually have a mixed set when it comes to utilizing sea fairy cookie all right we're going to house three individual searing raspberries which is going to basically increase the amount of damage that her overall aoe ability does when she does pop off her skill and then not only that we've got a smaller set a two set of those swift chocolates or aka cooldown reduction to allow you to pretty much utilize her skill more often to take advantage of that five enemy stun which is absolutely broken um but now keep in mind when you are looking at substats you want to make sure that you have your her cooldown reduction to at least 11.8 percent obviously anything above that is fine um but anything below that just doesn't quite cut the cooldown mark to take advantage of those five enemy stuns and you're more you know then focusing her as a just a plain out dps and utilizing her for the aoe damage so just keep that in mind now i wanted to take a second here just to mention to you guys that obviously the toppings of choice that i am focusing on or that i'm suggesting for these individual cookies are going to be more generalized to just you know any team composition that you are running and not really niche compositions all right so if you are focusing something on like i don't know attack speed for instance you know for a specific team you know niche then in that case obviously these might not be the best choices for that but at the end of the day if you're just looking to utilize these cookies these are going to be what is going to be recommended now diving into the fifth cookie we've got on this list and that's going to be black raisin cookie all right so again we've talked about it in our tier list videos this chick is absolutely ridiculous again i've been sleeping on her i have yet to even actually start building her because i just purely don't have the resources invested so once i start hoarding up enough resources and then i can take the time to actually build her it's absolutely insane i highly recommend anybody you know focus in on building her now jumping right in here when it comes to black raisin and the toppings of choice it's going to be a full attack set or a full searing raspberry set whatever terminology you want to use keep in mind that obviously you know focusing on those three main substats you know the damage resistance the cooldown reduction and then also that additional attack because obviously black raisin is an ambush cookie you're looking to do the most damage output and not only that you want to be able to utilize her skill skill as often as possible but you also want her to be able to take a little bit of damage via that damage resistance so focusing on those substats but running a full searing raspberry set and taking advantage of those two set bonuses is going to be the best way to go for black raisin now diving into the last cookie we've got for you guys today and that's going to be jumping in and taking a look at strawberry crepe all right so strawberry crepe obviously makes the top six cookies that every player should be building right now on their team and the reason being is because she's just really really good when it comes to the overall arena and not only that a lot of players are starting to figure out that you don't need dark chacos you know defense break although arguably really really good you don't really need it when it comes to building different team compositions and other pve aspect or content outside of the guild boss battles so with that being said people are starting to utilize strawberry crepe in place of dc in pve content which again very very cool i am down for it i like it i like the aspect that you can invest in one cookie overall and then utilize them you know across you know multitudes of content because 
as you guys already know, any resources that you can save is going to be better for you in the long run to build new and upcoming cookies. Alrighty, so for the first set we've got for Strawberry Crepe, that's going to bring us to the full Swift Chocolate set. So basically, the full cooldown reduction set. So the reason why this is going to be the most popular in PvP or the arena is going to be because you're trying to take advantage of utilizing the shields as much as possible on Strawberry Crepe's skill. And then not only that, when it comes to focusing on the substats, I think the more important important substats to focus on are going to be the additional you know cooldown reduction and then last but not least that damage resistance so obviously the attack um you know could be nice as well because you're just going to add a little bit of additional damage that that they can do but at the end of the day you're looking for strawberry crepe to stay alive longer via the damage resistance and then not only that to utilize the skill more often to take advantage of those shields all right and then the second set we've got for strawberry crepe is actually going to be another mix set which is going to bring us to uh, three of those swift chocolate so aka cooldown reduction and then not only that two of those solid almonds for that additional damage resistance now in my opinion i think this is more of a safe way to go for pve content um and you know if you are short on resources and everything and you're not really building strawberry crepe or swapping out toppings for arena then you can still utilize this same set but at the end of the day you know it's just allowing you pretty much to get additional damage resistance to survive longer and then not only that you're still getting a little bit of cooldown reduction on her skill to then utilize the skill more often but that's gonna be it for me ladies and gentlemen you guys let me know down below in the comments as always i welcome anybody and everybody to comment down below let me know what your guys's thoughts are on my top six cookies that every player should build do you guys agree or disagree or hey maybe you guys have another video that you'd like me to put out you know via some suggestions let me know those let me know those down below in the comments as well but with that being said as always please be sure to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notification every time we drop a video and if you do not know We've got a discord that has over a thousand cookie run kingdom players in it We would love to help you guys out. So definitely join that the link is gonna be provided down below in the description And as always, I will see you guys on the next one